Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. This is seventh class of this series, which is free WordPress class for beginners. In previous video, we discussed how to make pages and how you can uh, edit them with advanced page builder, which is drag and drop builder called Elementor, and uh, how to place pages in the menu on the right place because pages are not displayed anywhere else on the website, so you can place them in the menu. And I showed you how to uh, make them parent child relationship so in today's video i'll show you how to manage your website using customize tab in appearance there is a menu called customize when you go to customize then um, you can change the css the styling of your website and you can change the template types you can add logo you can uh, remove logo or you can change the header type and you can also uh, change the style of uh, pre-built templates uh, like if you have a shop template so products are listed there you can change the style of that shop page you can change the single post template or you can change the post listing template so this is customized and how it works after customize i'll show you the widgets what are the widgets widgets are the specified areas by a wordpress theme that can be uh, that can add a different type of blocks in it uh, for example you have a sidebar on your website and the widget is called the main sidebar then you can come to your appearance and click on widgets then you can see the all types of uh, widgets listed here uh, widget areas so this is specific widget area for the main sidebar and what is the main sidebar if you come to your front end and open any page or post not page because we uh, chose this template as full width now on this page this is the home page you can see that recent posts recent comments archives categories and nothing else so let's add something below this search box come to the widgets area in the main sidebar you can see that there is a recent post recent comments archive categories and this is the search so click on this add block and let's say we can uh, we we will add an image to the sidebar and drag that image or click this make up button and leave it below the search bar click on upload you can place any image this is uh, for example you want to add um, an advertisement so you can add it like this you can also give this link uh, this image a link and click here and type your link here for example https google.com click on update so your widget area will be updated if you come to your front end your main home page then below the search you can see that image and uh, it have the link google.com click on this enter and then update it now let's refresh and the link will be working now okay that's the widgets i'll show you in details but let's first go to the customize tab which is in appearance and customize so you can uh, open the customize here but you if you want to go from a specific page for example you are on a post like this is my new post and you are on this page and you want to click on customize so you can uh, see life changes while customizing this page or the whole website then you can see the life changes on this page but if you are on the home page or if you uh, open this from appearance and customize then uh, you will see the home page only so if you click on customize then here first of all i'll show you how to change the logo come to the general tab in some themes there is a link called template options in the main areas or called site identity so if you click on site identity then you can change the logo from here but in some themes they have uh, separate options for theme for example i'm using this astra theme if you come to appearance then there is an uh, option which is called Astra option. You can also find options 
here but for this specific theme the options are uh, within appearance and um, astra option so when you come to astra option there is a menu called upload logo click on upload logo so it's open in the customize and you can click on select logo now upload your logo or you can select from media library let me add a logo crop the logo which area you want to show crop it and publish it and you can see the logo is there now okay we will uh, display we will disable the display site title because we do not want to um, show title and uh, logo at the same time so we will hide the title and you, uh, your visitors will only show uh, only see your logo so if you come to your front end and refresh the page you can see that the logo is uh, different now next i'll show you how to change the global settings uh, if you click on the global setting in customize tab then there is typography colors container and buttons typography uh, is the base typography for all website if you click on the base typography and change the fonts for example let me choose roboto type the name of the font and choose the size but we will not touch the size because uh, it's different for different elements so this is just a general option and let's publish it and come back to the typography again and the headings here you will find option for different types of heading for example heading font family uh, it you can use inherit it means that it will be um, chosen from your default fonts but if you choose any different for example let's choose roboto then all of the headings will be uh, changed to the roboto fonts you can change font family you can change font weight font line height uh, now heading 1 this was all headings this is he heading 1 which is h1 h2 h3 all types of headings can be changed from uh, this option so if we come back to our customize and from uh, next to typography there is colors you can change colors from uh, these default colors to any colors you want for example text color will be this theme color will be blue let's change it to red and you will see the immediate change in your theme for example this button changed to the red now let's change link color link color will also be red it will be uh, different variants of red so all all theme uh, looks like it's from uh, one source okay click on publish do not count these things because these are the theme options these are not the website option if you come to your front end and refresh the page then you will see that the those uh, pencil buttons are not there because that that was uh, just the edit icon for this elementor editor sorry this customized editor now come back uh, and to container you can change the container width from 1200 to anything but we will leave it because it's responsive website and we do not want to ch uh, change the container width for example this is the 1200 maximum container width okay now layout from box content to full width con container uh, this means that you are using a box if we zoom out our website then you can see that this is a box but if you change it to full width then it will be stretched because there is also a stretched option full width stretch and full width contained there is also a difference between full width stretch and full width contained this contained uh, have a limit for example if you have a screen of uh, 1200 to 1900 then this contained will work for that but if you use stretch then even a 4k monitor will show all of your website okay now the blog post layout you can change the blog post layout from box to con uh, content box or full width contained or full width stretch similar to the home page 
archive layout archive page also have a different layout the default means your first selection will override all these options but if you choose uh, different for all of them then they will be different for uh, each of these options okay woocommerce layout what this means uh, i used a woocommerce plugin which is uh, used for shopping online shopping so they have the shop template they have single pages they have archive pages for all these pages you can use this thing to change the layout so it's um, already full width contained because uh, elementor have a separate option for woocommerce okay now we will go back to buttons uh, sorry the uh, global options and come to buttons there are different types of button um, on your website we are we can change colors of text of buttons and we can change background of buttons uh, change border type border radius border color border button fonts or padding so these all these buttons will be affected for example let me show you with this one let me add some radius of uh, 20 or 15 px and you will see the rounded edges of uh, this button will be increased and let's go back to two where it was or four so they are smaller edges similarly you can change button font etc okay let me go back to the main options you can create a separate header for example you can add different type of items here this logo site identity and logo uh, this was the same option which where we uh, chose from the extra option so it took us to the customize and logo option here now you can uh, choose primary menu this is the primary menu click here and you can uh, select the width you can select item divider open item divider you can see two things uh, two items in the menu if you choose item divider here then you will see a, um, a separator between these two things okay stake on mobile stake on mobile means uh, they will be horizont uh, vertically um, sorted not horizontally here on desktop you can see they uh, they are listed horizontally okay now for design you can change the si uh, style zoom in overline or underline or zoom in so your menu will look like that the divider size will be two weeks let's refresh the page you can see the changes here now come to the customize again after the header you can change the breadcrumb style breadcrumb is if you open a post then you will uh, see the category and uh, the admin and these things these are called breadcrumbs you can change the style of these breadcrumbs inside the header and here is home uh, 2021 it's the archive of uh, this breadcrumb so you can uh, click on before title and it will be visible here now okay the separator you can choose the separator as pipe sign and all these will be suddenly changed if you come to uh, this back again these are the double arrows but if you choose pipe sign then it will be changed to the pipe sign okay disable on home page yes we will not show uh, this on home page disable on blog pages disable on search archive let's hide it on search or 404 and you can choose alignment of the breadcrumb where you want to show it now let's go back to the option again similarly all of these options have uh, different areas of this website okay now let me discuss some widgets in details click on appearance and click on widgets okay we uh, added a widget to the main sidebar which is this sidebar now these recent post if you come to the uh, main sidebar again and scroll down to the recent post click on this block now you can change the title of this recent post and if you come here click here then you can choose option for them you can choose grid view you can choose list view alignment from left to center to right you can change alignment as well
you can choose from group to columns update it and you will see the difference here similarly you can add archives you can add categories uh, or you can remove categories as well if you, we want to uh, remove the archive block then just click here and remove the block then the title and remove the block now update and let's check on the front end and there is no archive now okay so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something from this class in our next week class i'll show you how to build a website from scratch to end so you, and now you are able to build a new website in wordpress for your client or for yourself but you can only make a blog website in furthermore a few classes i'll show you how to build different types of website with your skills so uh, this is all for today please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you